Hey guys, welcome to What To Do Wednesday, where I take your requests and I turn it into a video, which you are watching right now. So be sure to leave comments for what you would like to see next week. And let's just get to it. I mentioned that I thought it would be fun to do a makeup kit for beginners. And that's what we're gonna do today. I actually pulled a few items that I already had on hand and I really put together a full A to Z makeup kit for a beginner, for a student, for someone who's new to makeup that is from the drugstore. Everything's very affordable, easy to use, and let's get started. I really believe anyone, no matter what age, no matter you know if you love a lot of makeup like I do with the smoky eye or you like a natural look, something that's really beneficial to pulling your whole look together is making sure that your skin looks great. So we're gonna start there. What I recommend for someone that doesn't wanna bust out the brushes and do sculpting and do a heavy foundation where you're layering or have to super blend things because that's all really complicated. What I recommend is a BB cream. Think of them like a super powered tinted moisturizer. It's not gonna feel heavy, it's gonna be easy to apply. And the easy to apply is actually my favorite part of this product altogether. You really can't screw it up, it's goof proof. You're just gonna take a little bit on the fingertips like you would a face lotion, a pea sized amount, and you can actually apply it to the skin like you would a lotion. Blend it in, you're not gonna have any demarcation lines. It's just gonna make you look like your skin but a little bit healthier, a little more even toned and pulled together. This is the L'Oreal BB Magic. This one's great, it's really, really light. There's not much coverage in here, but again, it will kind of just even things out. If you don't wanna go the route of something liquid that you have to blend in, like a BB, you could, as an alternative, go with a mineral foundation. This is the True Match, and what I like about this is the brushes on top. This is great for beginners because you have everything right here. What you're gonna do is take your lid off, you're gonna get that brush out of there, swirl your brush in the product itself, and then just blend it all over the face, and that's gonna give you some nice coverage as well. This does have titanium dioxide, so both of these are giving you sun protection. All right, so now that your skin is evened out, you might want to attack any under eye circles. Something that I think is easy as can be, instead of using a heavy concealer where you're concerned that it's gonna crease, where you're having issues blending it out, I really, really love highlighting brightening concealers. This has a brush on it already, so you don't need a separate brush. You kind of twist the top up, you place it under the eye, and you can blend it out with your ring finger. Now, the reason you use your ring finger, and makeup artists will always recommend using your ring finger, this is your gentlest touch, and the under eye area is very, very delicate. You don't want to be tugging and pulling on that skin, so you're just going to use that ring finger and pat and blend under the eye. If you have blemishes that you need to cover and that's something that's really bugging you out, you don't want to take a brightening concealer or a really bright under eye, you know, lighter than your skin tone concealer on actual blemishes. What they have at the drugstore now are really great concealing pencils. This one is the True Match, super blendable. What I like about this, it is already set to go. You don't need a separate brush. Again, you can just kind of go on the blemish you want to get a tone that is the same as your skin tone. So you want to really match the shade up well. And that way you can actually get on the blemish and kind of press the product in with your fingertip and voila, it looks like you have no scar or no acne or like you just have perfect skin. If you have oily prone skin, a great thing to do is set your foundation and concealer with a little bit of powder. This is an incredible one. I just repurchased this because I hit pan and completely crumbled and broke my last one. I loved it that much. This is the Stay Matte from Rimmel. Incredible powder for $5. And even if you have drier skin, you can use a more detailed brush and just get in the oily areas around the nose on the T-zone to kind of make sure that shine does not pop through your foundation. So this is a fantastic, fantastic powder for even not beginners, it's just a really great product. If you wanna bronze up the face and you don't wanna spend oodles and oodles on bronzer, a really great thing to grab is $2.99 from NYC. This is an incredible matte bronzer. You could even use this in the crease as eyeshadow if you wanted to just keep eyeshadow and whatnot totally natural. You could dust this all over the face for a really glowy bronze look, and then, you know, if you wanted, you could take it in the crease. For blush, my favorite to recommend for beginners is from Wet n Wild. This is $2.99. This is pearlescent pink. It is a absolute dupe for Nars' Orgasm, which is just one of the all-time favorite blushes among makeup artists, and it's a beautiful, 
peachy pink with a little bit of pearl. I actually like this one better. When I put them both on side by side in a video one time, I was watching it back and I was like, this is actually the winner. It's even better. So any of the Color Icon blushes are affordable, really pigmented, and easy to blend. So I do recommend them for beginners. Let's move to your eyes. You're gonna need some type of a natural palette. If you are new to makeup, you want to leave your brights, your blues, your purples, your greens, kind of save those for maybe when you're a little more experienced with makeup. And just start with your basic neutrals. This is an incredible quad from Physicians Formula. The pigmentation is great and it is completely matte, which makes this easy to work with, natural looking, any age can wear this, really, really affordable, and I think it's a great place to start. Uh, they have a few different quads. The one I'm holding is Canyon Classics, and this one is Classic Nudes. If you don't want to go completely matte, that's okay. There are many different quads that they have from Revlon to Maybelline to Flower Cosmetics, which I'm holding right here. This is the Shadow Play in Foxy Browns, and what's nice about this is you get a nice matte brown here, which you could use as a liner even with a brush, and you get a few kind of highlighty shades here, and you can create a really fun, beautiful, natural look. Easy to use, easy to blend, not too complicated. Save complicated for another time. Go with a quad. You don't even want singular shadows. I would go with something that has a few shadows to work with. And whether you decide to wear shadow or not, I think an easy way to look like you but a little more awake is by applying some mascara and my two favorites from the drugstore are Almay's Get Up and Grow and Physicians Formula Organic Wear. Now these are very volumizing mascaras. If you want really really natural the one that I recommend is Great Lash from Maybelline. Incredible product for teenagers that don't want to wear a lot of makeup or are just starting to wear makeup because it is very, very natural, totally goof proof because the brush is a little bit smaller and you can really get those lower lashes without creating an overly spidery effect or smearing the mascara everywhere. So uh, those are my recommendations, but mascara is an absolute, you know, eye changer. Like it just wakes everything up. So even if you don't do liner, even if you do nothing, I definitely recommend Get yourself some mascara. If you want to attempt to fill in the brows, that's a great thing to do to change the look of the face. A brow pencil that is a favorite of mine that works really, really well for a darker blonde to brunette is Jordana's Taupe. This is sold as an eyeliner, but it's a little bit firm and it works really, really well in the brow. It's pretty goof proof. This is great for a beginner if you want to play around with filling in your brows. If using a liner in the eyebrow intimidates you a little bit, a softer effect is a slanted eye brush. This one is from e.l.f. It's angled and you can just pick up a little bit of brown shadow. Let's say you grabbed a neutral shadow palette. You could grab any of these browns and just kind of pull it through the brow and create a little bit of shape. I recommend for everyone across the board, makeup beginner, teens, someone who's an expert, uh, blotting sheets are a must have in your purse. It really saves the day so you're not applying more makeup, more makeup, more makeup. You're just getting any of the excess oil, humidity, sweat, anything that's interrupting your makeup and making you look shiny and worn down, this is gonna fix. So I think spend a couple bucks, keep this in your purse, and it's really just gonna help you look very, very pulled together and fresh all the time. Let's quickly talk about lipstick. You have a couple of great options here. Beginners, you don't need to be lining and highlighting and doing lipstick and gloss, keep it simple. What I recommend is either taking a glossy balm Fuss free, one swipe, you've added some color, you've added some shine, you've added some hydration. So these are excellent. If you wanna go the route of a gloss, that's a great option too. You still don't need a liner, you don't need a lipstick, it's fuss free. The easiest application and longest wearing formula, in my opinion, is a gel gloss. Rimmel makes a really great one called Stay Glossy, and Flower has a really great glossy gel as well. It's just called their Shine On Lip Gloss. Either of these are phenomenal, amazing for beginners, and affordable. Now, if you're looking at all of this going, oh my gosh, that's a lot of makeup, what on earth, you're crazy. For the ultra beginner who just wants just to look a little bit better than when you roll out of bed in the morning and you just wanna start experimenting, you don't have to do everything that I just showed you. What I would recommend is a BB cream, concealer, mascara, a little blush, and your lip gloss. And just doing that will give you 
just a polished look and it's a great place to start. I hope this gives you the inspiration that you need to put together your beginner makeup kit. Leave me comments on what you would like to see next week and thanks so much for watching guys. Mwah.